children welcome back after the summer break i am your nisha ma'am i hope that you all know me and i am going to teach you general knowledge and our general knowledge book is gk studio you all must be having if you are not having please buy it okay uh, i am going to explain unit 1 plants and animals four chapters i am going to explain today first chapter is endangered animals that is page number 5 Then second is the champions, page number six. The green kingdom, page number seven, and all about plants, page number twenty-seven. So here I begin. Now, children, do you know the meaning of endangered animals? Endangered means the animals which are in danger of becoming extinct. There are many endangered animals around the world. Here's the list of some animals facing that facing threat of extinction. First is The jag the the Javan rhinoceros is now the rarest animal in the world. Just about seventy are left on the earth. Then second, the California condor is the second rarest animal. Just over two hundred are left in the world now. Then the third is the whooping crane. Just two fifty are left in the world. Then fourth is the mountain gorilla. These don't survive in captivity. They are found only in jungles. Some six, some six, six hundred are alive now. Then next is Siberian tiger, largest of all tigers. Only seven hundred are alive now. Then kago, a flightless bird. Very few are alive. Then giant panda. Only about a thousand remain. Desperate attempts are being made to save them. Then Komodo dragon. Is a type of lizard. This lizard has about five thousand members alive. Then next is northern spotted owl. Approximately six thousands of these birds are alive. Children, these nine endangered animals are given on page number five. Now offbeat. The dodo is now a totally extinct bird. Means dodo are not in the world. They are not. In the world now, brain chip. Uh, you have to give. You have to search the answer. Which animal is in danger of being killed to get its horns? Children, you have to find out the answer of this question. Then next is next two questions I am giving you. Which largest member of the cat family is killed for its skin? These two answers you have to get. Then our next chapter is. The champions. These animals are the best in their spheres. Match their special specialities. You have to match them with their specialities. First is the biggest bird, which is the biggest bird, children. Yes, ostrich is the biggest bird. Then next, the smallest bird. Smallest bird is bee. Humming bird is smallest bird. Then. Third is fastest flying bird, children. Which is the fastest flying bird? Peregrine falcon is the fastest flying bird. Slowest flying bird. American woodcock is slowest flying bird. Then next is children heaviest flying bird. The heaviest flying bird is quarry bustard. Fastest swimming bird. Gen two penguin is the fastest swimming bird. Smallest land mam uh, land mammal. Smallest land mammal. Shrew. Shrew is the smallest land mammal. Then biggest land mammal. Elephant is biggest land mammal. Then fish with razor sharp teeth. Piranha. Piranha is the fish with Laser with the ra sorry razor sharp teeth. Then smallest horse smaller than many dogs. Falabella is the smallest horse, even smaller than many dogs. Then the smallest dog, Chihuahua. Smallest dog is Chihuahua. Then the longest animal. The longest animal is bootless worm. So, children, I hope all these answers are clear to you. Sorry, children.
the correct pronunciation of the smallest dog is Chihuahua, not Chihuahua. The correct pronunciation is Chihuahua. And the longest animal is Boat is Worm. So I hope all these answers are clear to you children. Okay, now offbeat. Crickets and grasshoppers can jump 20 times their own length. Now, brain gym. Write the name of the smallest fish. You have to find out the answers of all the brain gym children. Now, next brain gym, is, brain gym given on page number 6 is, write the name of the smallest reptile. You have to find out the answer. Now, next is the green kingdom. Write the correct answer choosing from the words given in the clue box. The clue box is given. Now you have to write the correct answer in the box. The function of a flower is to. Children, I hope that you all have already done this. So what is the function of a flower? The function of a flower is to make seeds. The part of the plant which brings water to it and keeps it in position. Children, the correct answer is roots. The roots brings water to the part of the plants and keeps it in position. Then the skin of a tree which protects the wood inside. That is known as bark. Next question is, flowers often have a sweet smell to attract. They have a sweet smell to attract insects. Then, what is the green substance inside leaves that makes food with the help of air and water? That is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green substance present in the leaves which gives green color to the leaf. Then, the anti-malarial drug quinine is extract from the bark of chinchona tree. Clear children? Then, chocolate is prepared from, you all must know the answer. You all must be knowing the answer. Cocoa. Chocolate is prepared from cocoa. Then, the coastal tree that provides us oil and coil, coconut. Children, all these answers are clear. I am repeating these answers. The function of a flower is to make seeds. Then the part of the plant which brings water to it and keeps it in position is roots. The skin of a tree which protects the wood inside, bark. Flowers often have a sweet smell to attract insects. The green substance inside the leaves that makes food with the help of air and water is chlorophyll. The anti-malarial drug quinine is extract from the bark of cinchona tree. Cinchona tree. Chocolate is prepared from cocoa. Coastal tree that provides us oil and coir is coconut. Now, offbeat. Mangroves are the only plants that can grow in salty water. No other plant can grow in salty water. Only mangroves can grow. Then brain gym. What you have to do with these brain gym? You have to find the answers yourself. Sponge is a plant or an animal? Just you have to tell whether it is a plant or whether it is an, whether it is an animal. Then lichen is a kind of a plant or a fish? You have to tell. You have to find out and write in your book. Now children, our next chapter is all about plants given on page number 27. Come to page number 27 children. All about nouns. Fill in the blanks using words from the clue box. Clue box is given on given on every page. First question is, the dash carries water and nutrients to other parts and also provides support to the plant. In class 4th, you all have done the chapter, plants. Then you must be knowing the answer. The part that carries water and nutrients to other parts and 
also provides support to the plant is stem. Then the dash anchors the plant, absorbs water and minerals and sends them to the stem. As I already told you. Root. Root absorbs water and minerals and sends them to the stem. Now next is the dash are the food making factories of green plants and are of different shapes and sizes. Yes, the food factory of plants, leaves. Leaves are known as food factory of the plants. They are also known as kitchen of the plant. Well, next question is, next fill in the blank is, the dash is the ripened ovary of a plant enclosing the seed or seeds. Means the seeds are covered, they are inside. They are inside a fruit. Seeds are enclosed within a fruit. Then the dash is the part of a plant capable of producing a new plant. The seed. Seed is the part of a plant capable of producing a new plant. All green plants have a pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green substance present in the, in the plants. It gives green color to the leaves and it helps in making food. Dash is a process by which green plants make their own food. Yes, the process is known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make their own food. Only green plants make their food. And they, the process is known as photosynthesis and they make their food with the help of a green substance known as chlorophyll. Then, what is the evaporation of, what is the process of evaporation of water from the leaves known as? The process is known as transpiration. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves. Clear children, the process is known as transpiration. I am repeating these answers with questions. The dash, the stem carries water and nutrients to other parts and also provides support to the plant. Well, the root anchors the plant, absorbs water and minerals and sends them to the stem. The leaves are the food making factories of green plants and are of different shapes and sizes. The fruit is the ripened of ovary of a plant enclosing the seed or seeds. All green plants have a pigment called chlorophyll. Photosynthesis is a process by which green plants make their own food. Then transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves. Children, I hope all these chapters are clear to you. All these answers are clear. Now offbeat. Banana tree bears fruits only once. Then it is cut down to the ground after a new shoot is seen at the bottom of the old tree. Now, okay, no, that, no questions are given. So you have to find out the answers to the questions given on brain gym, given on page number 5, 6 and 7. So what is your homework children? Your homework is to find out the answers of these 6 questions. Clear children? Okay. Children, I am going to teach you one more chapter. Man's best friend, page number 28. Who is man's best friend? Dog is the man's best friend. Dogs are known as man's best friend because they are loyal pets. It learns quickly and follows our instructions. It became the first animal to be domesticated by men. There are up to 400 modern breeds of dogs. Match these breeds with their description. First, a very small, large-eyed dog from northern Mexico. Can you tell? In last chapter also I told you, smallest dog in the world is Chihuahua. So, Chihuahua is a very small, large-eyed dog from northern Mexico. Then second is, which is the world's largest dog weighing up to 60 kg? Great Dane, 
is the largest dog in the world weighing up to 60 kg. Then next, it was kept by monks of Alpine monasteries. Saint Bernard, the name of the dog is Saint Bernard, was kept by monks of Alpine monasteries. The next is, the, this breed of dog is committed to complete any task with full enthusiasm. Pitbull. Pitbull is the breed of dog is committed to complete any task with full enthusiasm. The next is a cute dog with thick silky hair and a pointed snout. Pomerian. Pomerian. Children, the name of the dog is Pomerian. Pomerian is a cute dog with thick silky hair and a pointed snout. They are also called Alsatians. Alsatians. German Shepherd are also called Alsatians. It is well known as an intelligent, alert and loyal companion dog. Can you name the dog? Doberman. Doberman is a well known and intelligent, alert and loyal companion dog. Dear children, now the last one is it is a toy dog you all must be knowing. It is a toy dog breed with a wrinkly face and medium small body. Pug. Pug is a toy breed. Toy dog breed is just like a toy with a wrinkly face and medium small body. Similar to a toy. So again, I am telling you these answers again children. First is Chihuahua. Then second is Great Dane. Third, St. Bernard was kept by monks of Alpine monasteries. The breed of dog committed to complete any task with full enthusiasm is Pitbull. Then, a cute dog with thick silky hair and a pointed snout for Marion. They are also called Alsatians, German Shepherd. It is well known as an intelligent, alert and loyal companion dog, Doberman. Clear children? No. Toy dog breed, Pug. Many of you love it. I also love Pug. Okay children, that's all for today. So, your homework is to do these brain gym. In next video, I will teach you about the lions, spiders and then we will come to next unit, nature. Dear children, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.